I've been looking for her and have gone through other resources to try to find her, which is stupid. Well, my first concern would be that uh, we had her out on a bond for, I believe it was nine days, and she never once, never once did she say, drive me here or call here or go there. None of that at all. Her attorney hopes to convince Circuit Judge Stan Strickland on Friday to allow Casey to travel secretly to places of interest in this case to, quote, assist with the search of missing child Kaylee Anthony. One of the reasons Casey is on house arrest for child neglect is because she did nothing to find her daughter and apparently still has it. Anthony's attorney also wants access to the evidence from the car Casey was driving when Kaylee disappeared. He's trying to pull that evidence into the child neglect case so his expert can get to it. Attorney Jose Baez says he's entitled to all the information because Casey has suffered the public's hatred and that law enforcement or the state attorney's office has successfully tried a homicide case against the defendant in the public eye. If anything happens with Kaylee Casey, I'll die. You understand? I'll die. Oh, wow. that baby. oh my god, calling you guys? A waste. Huge waste. Honey, I love you. You know I would not let anything happen to my daughter. If I knew where she was, this wouldn't be going on. Out to Martin Williams with WNDB News Radio 1150. Mark, she says all this time she's been afraid to search for her daughter, and now she's making a personal appearance before the judge. Why now? When she's well, been a no-show so many other times. Well, you know, uh, your I was going to say your guess is as good as mine, but here's the deal when it comes right down to it, Nancy. I think she wants a real get-out-of-jail card free due to the fact that she says that she needs the privacy to go and, and search for Kaylee uh, where she thinks that she may be. Uh, she hasn't told the police or investigators where the child is. She has clammed up all this time. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are just kind of shaking their heads over this one, especially when the privacy issue is concerned, because you know and I know that the media will find out where she is searching. I mean, we have five helicopters in town belonging to TV stations, and they will zero in on her real, real quick, well, Nancy. Well, what I don't understand to Mike Brooks, former fed with the FBI, is why should the search for Kelly be a secret? Why does it have to be a secret? It, I, that's a great question. It doesn't question. even make any sense. No sense whatsoever. First of all, when she was in jail and she said, look, if you let me out, I will help you find Kaylee. So Leonard Padilla, he thought he was doing the right thing by coming and bonding her out the first time. And then he found out into a week, you know, it was, he said, we'll find her in a week. He then found out that she was lying. If she's moving her mouth, she's telling a lie. This, uh, this is ridiculous. No judge in his right mind is going to even grant this, Nancy. We are taking your calls live. Let's unleash the lawyers. Joining us out of Atlanta, felony defense attorney. Ray Giudice, also with us, high-profile lawyer Mickey Sherman, author of How Can You Defend Those People? Out to Ray Giudice, she says she has been afraid to search for her daughter. Afraid of what? Well, Nancy, let me just say, I think the judge is going to deny that motion very quickly. He's not going to allow not her to tramp I around. I think that she's, I think it's a ruse. I think it's a strategy that there's some mafia or some violent people that have the child and she's afraid to interrupt. That's come out in many of her tape recorded statements, but again, that motion's going to be denied. Come on, Mickey Sherman. She's sitting around the dinner table at her boyfriend's apartment making pasta dinner. She's afraid of the mafia. You know, she's so strange. But you know, the problem is that if she didn't make uh, at least a seemingly appearance of looking for a child, we'd be criticizing her for that. So she's damned either way. Uh, you know, is she being no, out I disagree, Mickey. If she had been at the get-go out there, look, I mean, think about it. Right. Think about it. In, in uh, an if ideal your world, children go missing, you'd be out there screaming in the streets, lying across the front steps of the police station, begging for help. If she had seven, done no that, no one would be throwing a stone at this point. Well, I guess she's trying to make the point that it's never too late to start doing the right thing. Here's where she's looked so far. Her boyfriend's apartment, we know, at the kitchen table. Fusion lounge under every bar stool possible. And a good search around the tri stripper pole. Am Scott checking where her car ran out of gas. And Blanchard Park, where she claims she lost her cell phone. Oh, yes, there was the big search at Buffalo Wild Wings, Mickey Sherman. Of course, people are throwing stones. Well, the other problem is, as Mike points out, there's nothing she's going to do that's going to be secret. 
this woman has an aura of uh, publicity around her 24-7 while she's out of jail. Right. What about Sherman's theory that damned if she does, damned if she doesn't? I disagree with that because if she had been searching at the beginning and uh, putting out flyers the way most people would if their child went missing, she wouldn't be in the predicament she's in now. And why should the search be in secret, Judith Chase? Well, it's not going to be, but I think in Mickey's defense, look, she's going to try to do something. Baez is going to throw it up so at trial he can say, we tried, we offered to look and no, we were turned down and you didn't follow up on all these leads, we could have helped. But I do think it's a dollar late, it's a, whatever the phrase is. Uh, it's, it's, it's a day late, late and a dollar, dollar short. short. Okay, Thanks. good try. Uh, back to Mark Williams or WNDB. What about her appearance on Friday in court? Well, that appearance takes place at 10.30 a.m. in an Orange County courtroom. She'll be accompanied by Jose Baez, her attorney, who, of course, is going to say, say to the judge, you know, let Casey uh, uh, expand her horizons a little bit. Let's get her out of home confinement. Let's, let's let her search for the child. But again, I agree with your other guests, uh, a, do a day late, dollar short, because, you know, as, as you know, Nancy, some of the uh, investigators have said Casey's no longer with us or Kaylee's no longer with us. To Tim Miller, the head of Texas EquiSearch, Texas EquiSearch uh, now resuming the search. They are headed back to Orlando to search for Kelly. As you know, Tim Miller, not just a veteran searcher, but also a crime victim himself. Mr. Miller, why are you heading back? Uh, Nancy, why not? I mean, we still got a missing girl. Uh, you know what? It's never too late to, to continue a search. Uh, I truly believe that Kaylee is out there. I, I would love to believe that she's still alive, but Nancy, uh, I, I, I truly, from my heart, don't believe that, and I believe that she's findable, and the only way she's going to be findable is let's go search some more.